OK, so in this video, we're going to go through some examples of solving some cubic polynomials. So with the first one, uh, we're going to go straight into the sketch. So we just need a diagram to show roughly what the cubic is doing. So it's a cubic that's crossing through at 3, 6 and minus 1, starting in the bottom left and working its way to the top right because it's a positive x cubed. So we have minus 1, 3 and 6. And we're asking, where is the cubic graph above the x-axis? So it's above it there and there. OK? So the solution is that x is greater than minus 1 but less than 3, or x is greater than 6. And if you needed to, uh, with any of these, you might be asked to write them in either set notation or interval notation. OK? So that's our first one. Right, number two. Um, so we've got 3x minus 5, 4 minus x times x is squared equal to 0. So let's go straight in with the diagram. So this is going to be a negative x cubed, because when I multiply this out, I get a minus x cubed. OK, so this is starting in the top left and working its way down to the bottom right. Now this is going to be going through at 5 thirds, 4 and 0. So 0, 5 thirds and 4. OK. And then where is the graph above or equal to 0? So it's above it there and there. So x will be less than or equal to 0. Or x will be greater than or equal to 5 thirds, but less than or equal to 4. OK. And so that is the region that we need to find or the regions we need to find, rather. Right, number three. So number three, we've got 2 minus 5x, x plus 8, x plus 1. So the first thing to notice is that we're going to have a minus x cubed again. So top left to bottom right. So this one, we've got the 2 take away 5x, so that's 2 fifths, minus 8, minus 1. So minus 8, minus 1, 2 fifths in order. Where is the graph below the x-axis? Well, it's below it there and there. So x is greater than minus 8, but less than minus 1. Or x is greater than 2 fifths. OK? Two regions, two inequalities. Right, how about number 4? Well, number 4... Uh, strangely, I've got this bracket x squared plus x plus 8. Um, so I haven't factorised that into two linear factors. Now, the reason why is because actually the discriminant of this, you need to be able to spot this, the discriminant is actually uh, less than 0. Uh, b squared minus 4ac is 1 take away 4 times 1 times 8. So um, we've got 1 take away 32, so minus 31 is the discriminant. So because of that, uh, we've actually only got one real root for the cubic. So this actually will look something like, um, well, it's going to be a positive x cubed, so it starts in the bottom left and might do something like that. I'm not, quite enough, I'm not sure how pronounced that bump will be, OK, if it exists at all. OK, uh, I would have to do more investigative work to find that. However, I do know that it's only crossing the x-axis at minus 4. So where it's asking where is the graph below or equal to the x-axis, well, that's just that region. So x is less than or equal to minus 4 is the only region that satisfies that inequality. Now, number five, number five isn't factorised, OK? So what I could do is I can go straight in and use my cubic solver to solve the cubic. So we've got five minus 28 and minus 12. So we're going to have a positive cubic that's crossing through at 6, minus 2 fifths, and 0. So minus 2 fifths, 0, and 6. OK? So then where is the, uh, the cubic above the x-axis? Well, it's above it there and there. So 
x is greater than minus 2 fifths but less than 0, or x is greater than 6. Now, of course, within that form, I could have used my cubic polynomial sol uh, sorry, my cubic inequality solver on the calculator. So menu, and then you need to go to B. Um, so polynomial degree is 3, and we want it greater than 0, so that's option 1. 5 minus 28 minus 12, and then 0, and we get precisely what I've written there. Okay? Right, so that's number 5. So finally, number 6. So this one doesn't have everything on one side. Uh, I need to expand the brackets first and rearrange things. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this. So I've got 278x plus 45 is less than or equal to. Expand this out. 253x squared take away 42x cubed. I'm going to move everything onto the left-hand side. So 42x cubed uh, take away 253x squared plus 278x plus 45 is less than or equal to 0. So this is going to be a positive cubic. So I'm going to pop this into my cubic solver rather than my cubic inequality solver. So 42 minus 253, 278 and 45. So I get 9 halves, 5 thirds and minus 1 seventh. So I know that this one is minus 1 seventh. Now what were the others? So we had 9 halves, so 4.5 and 5 thirds. So 5 thirds comes next and 9 halves. Okay, so where is the cubic below or equal to 0? Well, that's there and there. So x is less than or equal to minus 1 seventh, or x is greater than or equal to 5 thirds, but less than or equal to 9 halves. And of course, we would definitely want to double check that uh, using the uh, cubic inequality solver. So, um, I want to do less than or equal to, so that's option number 4. So 42 minus 253, 278 and 45. And we get precisely what we have there. Okay? And so that's how we can solve cubic inequalities.